what's up boys I'm going with Just the engineer tinker and I'm going to try and make the smartest gun ever with the Loki smart rifle last time I tried to do something with this unfortunately the game gave me a ton of sick legendary upgrades for the warthog and I had to go all in on that instead but this time I'm going for the smart rifle no matter what grab some damage on that since that's the highest rarity and I think the smart rifle actually and well of course it's going to do that, and I probably I'm do want some levels on it anyways to get the electric conversion. But I think the smart rifle actually did end up being my highest overall damage just because it was constantly sniping enemies over walls and stuff. So I think there is some potential there if it was still number one even though the Warthog was just erasing stuff. There's not a lot of overclocks available for the smart rifle currently. It only has one unstable and three balanced. Let's get the this overclock works. here. No electric, so Put take some damage there. So I think you're probably always going to want the electric conversion on the Spark you're Rifle, cute. since that's pretty good. It unlocks crit chance as a global upgrade. And then you are also getting a little bit of AoE from the debuff, as well as some stacking crit chance. But I'm not exactly sure how good the 100% clip size but reduced reload speed overclock is. So if anyone knows anything about how that is on various weapons, I'd love to hear it. Might have to do some Discord digging to see what people have been saying about that. And then for other weapons, the Stubby would be pretty good. Right there, that has Sidearm to increase the damage of everything. No Smart Rifle there, no Smart Rifle there. Uh, I could do that for like full Medium Kinetic now, maybe. I guess. Yes. Grenade launcher, please. So I can still get the smart rifle to synergize that, but now I want to stay on kinetic instead of going for electrical. I might still want the stubby just for the sidearm overclock and some crit chance increasing. Probably take the nitro for some extra levels. That's actually pretty nice early on. But I want some weapon levels. Take the weapon level it's here. Complete. Get some big this crit works. chance. So if I get this smart rifle as my third weapon, that will be all medium kinetic weapons so far. But I don't think there's a fourth one on the Tinkerer, since that has only the base engineer weapons. Man, I wish they would make it so that you could choose your starting weapon out of a few that are available to the class so that you can actually customize your run yes. a bit more. A pop the loop up. Let's get the I guess this is going to end up being mostly a Warthog build again but kinetic instead of electric this time. So medium on reload, that will affect probably my main, all of my main weapons. Exemplary work, you've achieved your objective in a record time. Nice damage on the gold with the Praetorians walking through it. And they got it all for me. Uh, probably the Kinetic Global. That's going to affect everything as well and be a pretty big damage increase. And Tinkerer usually has some levels to spare since you get the 10% XP and the extra levels on top of that. Probably be getting some damage on the elites. If they're at full HP, it's going to be impossible to kill them. I'll take the level here, I think. Oh yeah! 
Get some big explosions. Got it right between the eyes. I might take a paint job here. Fire rate damage are both pretty good. Sure. If it looks good, it shoots better. Take the Everyone knows reload, that. probably. Fire rate reload. I guess I'll take an overclock reload. here. Plasma, no weapon range now is fine. Gas. Gotta move on. Fire rate. This one looks best. So I'm looking for the smart rifle. Gun platform would be okay. There we go. Wish I could have gotten that second, but smart oh well. Rifle, smart warp. Mining speed. I don't think I have any yet, so that's pretty helpful to get on the first level. Watch it. The Kinetic. Is increasing. Sure. This is the smart pick. Kinetic. They're both decent. I think that's not that helpful since the Warthog is so fast by default at 0.5 already. Fire rate. That doesn't work on the PGL. Crit damage does. Try and get some more detonators off since they're kind of healthy still. Well, now they're almost dead. The bugs are getting worse. Move it. Big damage into an overclock. No triple yet, so probably just some explosion radius. Everything. Big reload. This gonna Big luck. My life. One of the issues with the PGL is you kind of need the triple shot on it for it to be even remotely decent. But I seem to have a lot of runs where I put levels into that and I just never get it. Similar issue to stuff with piercing shot requirements. I think I still like the stubby. That will apply some electric debuffs for some AoE damage and crit chance. And it also has the sidearm. Projectile, those both affect the same weapons. Get some big fire rates. Legendary, it's my lucky Apply day. even more debuffs with it. I'm not scared of big you. reload. It in. Am I a stubby build now? The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. Bring the pie. Got some nice XP there. Even more luck. Some nice stuff. reload. Ooh. Hello. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. That's pretty helpful for overclocks. Gonna paint my nails Got the sidearm, so I don't really need any this more overclocks there. Everything. Reload. Of Grab me. the luck and projectile. I've been of something like this. Must have quite a bit of luck now. Let's get the your objectives and let's get out of here. It's quiet. Almost too quiet.
And since I'm not going the electric conversion on the smart rifle, there's actually only two overclocks that even help it now. I think I will take medium over that. Yeah. Big swoon detected. Bugaman, get ready. Oh. Oh. We got too much clutter for Just the supply part to land. Do something. I think it's the double clip size and the fire rate plus reload speed. The only other overclock is the electrical conversion. And then it only has one unstable as well, so they could definitely add some more overclocks to that. I don't really have to get overclocks there, but I could do it to get a ton of weapon levels anyways. Now it's my favorite color. I could still get fire rate and reload speed on it to apply more debuffs. It's a little extra special. Big swoon detected. Bugaman, get ready. Loot bug looted. Got some fire rate into an overclock. This rare stuff. I'm not sure which of these are better. I'm not really sure how that performs, so I'm just going to take the overclock guaranteed gain here. Got another smart rifle. This is my pick. Fire rate is decent. I don't think I have any movement speed, so I'm gonna grab a this bit of that. In case I get some pickled nitra or the fire rate thing later on. I hate being super yeah. slow and then just dying because you can't avoid anything. If I can get some big explosions here, I guess I'll see what I get here. So, fire rate reload speed is okay this to apply more debuffs. It's probably the one I was looking for the most there. Got a warthog level. I'm a better dwarf than yesterday. You gotta move it, miner. The bugs are gunning for you. <laughs> That's going to be good. I'm not really scaling electric, so it's probably not worth it. I'm a better dwarf than yesterday. Already have the main overclocks for it now. You can get a lot of fire rate at 18, but I'm not really sure if I'm going there. Think you can kill me. Think you can. Big crit damage. I 
threat level keeps increasing. We'll need to work faster completed. Big fire rate, not bad. Yeah, I guess I kind of am a Warthog build. Oh well, couldn't get the smart rifle fast enough. Well done, miner. Got a bit of damage there. Additional time. Extra shots. Let's try that again. I pretty much always go akimbo. Overclock time, baby! Big fire rate. I'm a better dwarf than yesterday. Reload. I guess I could. Just the upgrade I was looking for. Kind of have a lot Next. of gold to spend now. Kinetic's pretty I good. Of this rare stuff. I don't have any pickup radius, but it's kind of late. I've been dreaming of something like this. Already 41, so it's not going to give me a ton of value at this point. Work to be done. Get to it, miner. I'm so ready to quit this job and move on. Oh yeah. You're cute, but you're dead. The double frontal shots is pretty nice for clearing a path. Makes it very easy to shred elites also. Uh, I guess I might take a legendary over a green still, since I don't have any of it yet. Levels there is pretty helpful for pushing the overclocks. Electrical, color. nope. Got to take that one since they're the only two non-electrical ones. Big fire rate is pretty nice. Affects everything except the PGL. Big fire rate there. Don't mind if I do. Fire rate, levels. This is... Probably better, but I do want to get the overclocks harder, on the smart better. rifle as well. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Got some decent levels there, wouldn't mind some more overclocks on the PGL. Man, I love taking 140 damage without even getting hit. Very cool. Reload, look for the overclocks there. Try and find some red sugar to recover from that. Still need a lot of flowers, oops. Maybe take out the flyer. And then that would give me a little bit more time to move around. Barely even yeah, mind okay. anything on this level, apparently. Objective completed. Think you can kill me? Think again! They're everywhere. Move out, miner. Get yeah. it over with.
Yeah, the double front shots actually are pretty nice when you're trying to just move it in one direction like this. Reload isn't amazing there, but at Legendary it's still probably the best. It does have a lot of fire rate to go with that. Let's take out the flyer, I think. And then farm XP for a bit. There were some more resources in the bottom left if I could clear a path over there. Big pickup. I don't think I need that at this point. Probably a bit more movement I'll to help it. with the penalty I have. Guess what's on the menu? More bugs. And they're pissed. They're getting pretty ramped up, so let's finish it now. Let's show them some fight. All tasks complete. Stage finished. The drop pod is prepped and Much ready. Better. Get on it before it leaves. Got some fire rate. I don't mind looking for, for some PGL overclocks. There we go. Nice paint color. job, and we actually got the triple this time. The legendary pickup radius is actually fairly helpful Get here. Onto that drop part. It's about to head out. Can't get most of that, even though I'm already fairly high level. Stage three completed, taking you to stage four. You did good work, miner. Big reload and damage. Don't the mind those. Reload is okay. I do have a lot of nitro, but I also get crit from it, so I it's not that go. important. That will put Looks me close beautiful. to 18. And that will finish that extra time in the opposite direction. Maybe I should have taken that on the Warthog just to have twinsies on it. it. I do need one more on that. It's a little extra Damage this and fire once. rates. I could get one Let me try upgrade again. with that. Fire rates. You don't see these every day. Just keep a bit of nitro for the crit chance. Your mission is clear. Get to 40 it. and 248. This is gonna be a walk in the park. Big crit damage. Build's pretty strong, I just kind of failed to get the smart rifle early enough to go all in on that. But that is how it is with reroll yes. sometimes. Sorry, your own fault for being full of goodies. Come and get me, you disgusting fun. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Man, even just the PGL makes it very hard to see sometimes. Red sugar. Yeah, I just can't even see the gold I'm mining right now. Meet your maker, Crave. Objective completed. Excellent job. Reload. Probably just some crit here. Supply pod LZ is full of crap. Oh, yeah. Please clear it out. Sorry, little brother. You're on 
fire rates. Projectile damage is probably better. I can't see anything right now. Some decent stats all around. Seems like the best choice here. We've got Warthog, Smart Rifle, probably the Warthog. Got Smart Rifle. Let's see, don't have that many levels left. If I get some paint chops, I could go for 18 on that. Might be kind of funny. It's a little extra special. Although I did make that a bit harder earlier when I was passing up upgrades for it. Uh, probably the Warthog. Have I gotten any magnets on this run? I must have missed some. They're getting worse, Miner. You need to move. Yeah, give me some sugar. PGL crit damage is the most global upgrade there. Since that affects the deep core as well. For crap's sake, move it! They're everywhere! Die, drop pod has arrived. Oh, Get there before the timer runs out. The drop pod is not going to hang around. I can't see anything with the deep core explosions. Big reload. I'm gonna be the best survivor. Dwarves don't die today. I can just funnel them all into the choke here, and farm a bit of XP. Suck on this, you freaking nature. Stage four completed. Next stage is the dreadnought. Prepare accordingly. PGL spart rifle. I might just keep the crit since I'm I've got a decent spread across all four weapons. Movement is I'll decent. Let me try again. That's a pretty cheap it's level. Eh, probably pass on that stuff. Mm, what else? That's okay. It does help with debuffing. This'll do. Reload on medium is okay. I'm gonna, be the, gonna roll the dice on this one. That's expensive. Let's see what else there is. Let me try again. Eh. Kind of looking More for action. some Nitra stuff. Eh, I'll just keep it for the crit, I think. Only one way to rouse the Dreadnought. Destroy so, three the more Dreadnought. levels on the stubby. Probably You're need a paint higher. job at this point. Guess I shouldn't have passed on the levels earlier. I think it's like 150% fire rate or something on it. But that would be a lot more shock debuffs. Which then improves all of your weapons a small amounts. Fire rates. I can look for it. Just the upgrade I, was looking for. I just need one paint job. Sorry, little I think the double frontal done. warthog shots are kind of growing on me. It's actually super nice for clearing a path through stuff. I said that a couple times, but it's just so good. Got it right between the eyes. Then a, an elite comes up on you, and you just turn around and blast them real quick. Bring it. 
I think having the extra back shots is probably always going to be better for Plasma, since that just bounces around anyways. But for Electric and Kinetic, I think I do like the double shot. So much knockback that most enemies can't even reach you as well, even if they can survive. Supply pod LZ is full of crap. Please clear it out. Just push that guy out of the way. LZ ready. Resupply inbound. These are all terrible. This will help me work harder. I can build that up right before the boss spawns and get a small amount of damage. I still need one more. I could look for a paint shop since I don't have any gold scaling. I guess I'll take a purple for all of my primary this. weapons. Get out of here. I got it. Come and get me, you disgusting boss. Boss is about to spawn, so I might want to get somewhere open and stack up the artifacts now. Looks like he's coming from up here. Uh, it big time. It's gonna freaking die big time. Yeah, that artifact is just kinda hard to use. You get a little bit there, but then I have to run. If you had a lot of movement, you could maybe stutter step to keep it up while moving a bit. That's the only thing I can really think of. Dreadnought wiped out. Good work, complete. Tried to get the full smart rifle build, but unfortunately rerolls were not it today. But that's a full medium kinetic Type build on the Tinkerer. If you want to see more stupid builds, don't forget to leave me a like or a subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Dreadnought eliminated. We're pulling you home. Smart rifle, not bad considering it's a third weapon. It does have the nice benefit that it fires over walls and stuff, so it's constantly covering you while you're mining and stuff, not even facing them. Warthog, of course, one of the better weapons in the game. Deep Core actually not too bad there. I did get the ideal overclocks for it, though, which seems a bit on the rare side from my past experiences. Decent support weapon, probably could have gotten 18 if I tried a bit harder, but oh well. That's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.